Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. We hope you will enjoy the show. Bum, 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 bum. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Sit back and let the evening go. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely, Sergeant Pepper's Lone, Sergeant Pepper's Lone Hearts Club Band. It's wonderful to be here, it's certainly a thrill. You're such a lovely audience, I'd like to take you home with me. I'd like to take you, wait, you are in my home. I don't really want to start the show, but I thought y'all would like to know. Then let me introduce to you, the one and only Billy Shear. And Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club and Okay, close enough, right? Mm -hmm. That was for Gail. So, Gail, you want to hear Beatles songs. Now, listen, there are a thousands, I think, Beatles songs, right? But I sang that one because, do you remember who remade it? Somebody tell me. Somebody put it on there right now. Be like, Z -Z 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 -Z. yeah, because you know who did. And so, I remember the version that was remade really well. And then I went back and heard the Beatles version. Vir virgin? version. Anyway. Okay, guys. Hey, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Gail, that really was just for you. I've done, I think once before I did, um, I did Here Comes the Sun in one of my videos before, because that's actually probably my favorite Beatles song. I think so. Here comes the sun. Ba -do 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 -do. It's such a good song. But there's another really good song. And when I do Bees, I think I will just let it be the song I sing. <laughs> okay, guys. Did I say I'm Amy? Because I am. So, hey, today is a bonus haul day. Bonus haul, bonus haul. If this is your first time here, I have to tell you something. That this channel is Dollar Tree and only, only, only Dollar Tree. You know why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. All right. So, listen. I was going to try and film my haul a little differently today. It just doesn't work. I was going to try and, like, film it where... I could like show it to you and then put it down and you could still see it. It doesn't work. So what I am going to do though is at the end of the video, I'm going to video everything that I purchased in like, you know, I'll give like a minute video just going over everything that I purchased just to, I don't know, to like refresh for you maybe. Let me know what you think about that, you guys, by the way, at the end of this video. Okay, so this is what today is. By the way, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Um, I love my follower, my followers. Is that what it, your, my subbies, subbies, my subscribers. I love you people out there. They're coming and join me in my kitchen. That's what I really love. Just really say how messy this is back here. Still rearranging this house, but it's getting there. And I am going to do a live reveal. Okay. Anyway, it's Wednesday and I don't normally have a Wednesday video, but this is a bonus haul because last weekend I went off to Vegas with the man and um, we had a great time. And on the way home, guess where we went? Can you guess? Like, this is, a, this is really hard, but try. Three different Dollar Trees. So, okay, this is so cute, you guys. He takes me to the first Dollar Tree, and while I'm in there, he figures out the route home to, out of Vegas to get to the freeway and, and stops at two more for me. And I went to the biggest Dollar Tree I've ever been to. So, what I'm gonna do here for you is show you each store individually. All right, so the first store that we went to had an armed guard. I was like, this can't be good. There really was an armed guard. So I'm guessing it wasn't in the nicest part of town or they've had some issues there. So, and this was a Dollar Tree right off the strip in Vegas. And um, my total at that Dollar Tree was, well, the subtotal was $59. So I got 59 items. Can you guys see that? Just trust me. By the way, today's total haul is like $200, I think. Uh, close to that, just about. So there's a lot of stuff. All right. So the first one I go into and right away I saw their 4th of July stuff. And so I saw a bag, a bag that I haven't seen. It's all right here in front of me. So I got to do this very carefully. I saw a bag that I hadn't seen and I'm not big on picking up. The, I don't pick up a lot of their recycling bags and I wanted to pick them all up because they were super cute. But I just decided to get this one. Like how cute is this you guys? I didn't even look at the size. What are the sides? Red. Red. Um, so cute. Like, I'm literally thinking about doing a DIY with it and, like, using this and framing it. I don't think I'm going to, though. I think I'm going to leave it as a 4th of July bag. Like, it'll be the bag if I go anywhere on the 4th of July that I would take and carry stuff in, I think. I think. 
Or maybe I'll send it to my daughter who lives in California as a 4th of July gift because they have to have recyclable bags to go in and shop everywhere or you have to buy them. Anyway, it's just too, too stinking cute. Isn't that cute? I cannot linger long on anything because I have a lot to show you. All right. And then I found this little number, which I hadn't seen. Now, I don't know if this is leftover from last year. It could be because I did a craft last week. Um, it was the lemon day. And I used an, a 4th of July sign from last year just like this, except it said something on it. I don't remember, Home of the Brave or Land of the Free or, I don't know, it said something on it. But I bought it for the, the tin. Anyway, I'm going to use this in a DIY, I believe, I think. So I just got the one. And then they had this and this says um in god we trust but okay this is a stencil you guys it's a stencil so i want this star because i want to put the star on my welcome sign that i'm collecting things for every month to change on it which eventually i'll get that craft as soon as i collect all things this is a stencil and i'm like i want this for my patriotic diys in god we trust so i purchased that for that and then this one, I'm like, also a stencil, wrong way. <laughs> I just <re> realized <laughs> really, this is a broken one because it says welcome this way, but the thing is was hung backwards. That's okay, it doesn't matter because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dissect it anyway. I want this welcome as I want it for the stencil, just for the stencil. So I got both of those for the stencil and then I'll use the other parts for um, DIYs. Okay. I love this sign. Bold stripes, bright stars, brave hearts. So you know I love to upgrade their signs and that nothing's gonna be different about the 4th of July signs. So you guys are seeing this Wednesday. This is this might've been on the video yesterday because I'm videoing this haul on Monday so that I can use some of the things that I bought for Tuesday's video. <laughs> so confusing, but it makes sense, I think. And this one, I love this one. I just love it. I absolutely love it. So home of the free because of the brave. It's just for all those veterans out there. Mm, thank you very much. My guy is. He was a tap dancing sailor. Like literally no joke. He was a tap dancer and a sailor. I just makes me think of, you know, Fred Astaire, Gene Autry. Not Gene Autry. Gene Kelly. Okay, anyway. And then I found this and I hadn't seen this at any other um, stores. So I was super happy about this. It's three little flags and I have a really cool DIY plan for this. I hope it came out. Don't know yet. You already know, but right now I don't know as I'm filming this. Um, and it's just a really, it's a really cool DIY. I used to every year for Christmas, I would have a Christmas party and I would make um, a gift to give everybody who came to the party. And so the year of 9-11, I took smaller flags than that and I like Mod Podge them or I used, um, I don't know what I used, I can't remember now. Maybe material glue and I hardened them like they were waving and made ornaments and it was, you know, all for a 9-11 thing. They were really cool, which is what I'm planning on doing kind of that. So I don't know if it worked or not. That's what I bought the flags for. At least one of them. Okay, let's move on. I found a couple more of these. I absolutely love these. When I do my living room wall reveal, you will see quite a few of these in here. These are the best little accessory for your home because they're super small and sweet. They're great on tear trays, by the way. And they are just great for just popping. I'm looking at my wall. Like, I think I have one, two, three, four, five. I think I have five of these on my wall right now. That's a lot. And then, um, anyway, that's what those are for. So I did a DIY with this wall um, decor before, the Main Street Wall Creations, but I picked it up again because I want the bees. And I want the bees because I can't find bees anywhere, and I want the bees for my bee week. And there was four on here, and I'm like, okay. They kind of look like wasps, though, don't they? <laughs> now that I look at them. Well, anyway, I'm going to, yeah, um, well, that's what I got it for. And I absolutely love the sunflowers, so I know I'll use those again, even though I've already done a DIY with them. And then in their, their, their garden stuff, when I first walked in, like, randomly, there was this. Hello, hello. Um, this is obviously, this can't be for fall. Although, although, 
I walked into another Dollar Tree, the third one that I went to, the biggest one I've ever been to, and they had little scarecrows out. I'm like, that can't be. Is it possible? I don't know. So this is supposed to turn, but it doesn't really. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's okay, I'm taking it apart. I'm not gonna leave it this way. I love this pumpkin. It so makes me think of Cinderella. Doesn't this like sort of look like the carriage? Um, I'm gonna dissect the whole thing and make something else with this because I want a light behind it. So I'll use one of the light boxes and do a fall DIY. Um, but I'd never seen it. I, did, I hadn't seen this last year either. I don't know, so who knows? And this little number, which is a galvanized butterfly on a steak, and I like that, and I have some DIYs planned for backyard decor, so that's gonna go in that pile. Then in their summer stuff, um, I am doing nautical next week, and I always look at their wind chimes, and they're like kids' crafts, because you can get good wood pieces in there. So there's a sailboat, and I said this before when I called um, their chimes. I'm keeping the chimes. I'm going to make an incredible chime for outdoors with the leftover bits. So that would then go into like maybe with the butterfly. Even. Actually, that'd be kind of cool. Okay. So yeah, I'm not sure, but I got this cause I want the boat for nautical. And then they had these little doohickeys, which are coasters for your wine glass is super cute, but I'm doing the, the wreath that's the flip-flops, the actual flip-flops. And then I saw these and I was like, ooh, I might use these on that wreath with the bigger flip-flops. And so I got it and I'm, so I'm not really sure it's an experiment. And if that doesn't work, then they'd be super cute as a garland. So cute as a garland. I know they're for coasters for, can you see they're for coasters? And your wine glass like fits inside. Also very cute, but I don't, I don't serve glass outside. I have all plastic cups, so none of them have a stem on it. Like, you could slide in there. All right. So, this little personal fan, um, I just thought it was so cute, and I wanted to show it to you guys. And it says, Tropic, Tropic Like It's Hot. Tropic Like It's Hot. Pop makes me want to dance. Um, yeah, I don't know. So... I just got it for, because it was different and I hadn't seen them there before and I wanted to show you guys. And I don't really have hot flashes anymore, so I don't think it's anything I'll use. <laughs> I mean, there's that. On the man's aisle, down the bench tool aisle, I'm always scraping. If you watch my DIYs, I'm always scraping with like a knife or scissors or my, or the, the tool that's for just prying. And so I was like, yeah, I need this. I just need this. So I can scrape the stuff off the windows the glass stuff when I deconstruct some of their things that have sayings on it. Like last week on lemons, I took the whole mom saying off of the yellow one, which was, it was, came out super cute. This would have been very handy. So that's for my craft supplies. Okay, let's go to cleaning supplies. Now remember, this is my very first store in, in Vegas and that's where I spent $59, okay? So I found the Comet spray. Now Comet is a brand name, you guys. This kills 99% of bacteria and viruses. It's antibacterial spray cleaner. Um, and so I did get it because it's Comet and it's green. And I'm like almost out of like a, an antibacterial cleaner. So I had a need for it, but I hadn't seen the Comet before. And so I went that like, okay. And I'm almost out of dishwasher pods. I've shown you guys before that these are a good buy. Um, and I almost picked up the Dollar Tree ones that are, there's like 10 in there for a dollar. And I'm like, you know, there's only, if I had a ton of kids at home and I was doing more than one load of dishes a day, I would probably try those, but I'm not. It's just him and I. So I'm like every other day there's a load of dishes. So for a dollar, I do my dishes and it lasts me more than a week, you know? So I'm okay with that. And I only pick up like three packages at a time approximately. Okay. So after cleaning, we went down. Wait, no, no, no. Let's go to the food. I only have one thing in food. No, two things, I guess. Kool-Aid gum? Hey, Kool-Aid! Remember that, Ed? When he'd come, the big Kool-Aid guy come screaming through. I was like super excited. So in here, it's Tropical Punch Cherry and Grape. There's four or five stick packages, so we must get two of one kind, but I don't know because I can't see through it well enough. So what did I get these for? Mm-hmm. Timmy, I'll off to those grandkids. Kool-Aid gum. 
I should have bought one package for each of them. Oh well, I didn't. Maybe if I find it again. But I was super excited. That just looks like so fun. And they love even the silliest things like Kool-Aid gum. They'll be excited about when they get it in the mail. All right, so for Foodie Friday last week, I picked these up and I said I was gonna try them. And I did not try them on camera, okay? I'm sorry, because I took them with us on our drive to Vegas. But I'm gonna tell you right now, when we stopped at the store, guess what he picked up? Mm-hmm. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved these. They, I loved them too. They're so good. 120 milligrams of caffeine. There are 130 calories in each can, so there's that. But what I wanna try with it is I'm actually gonna mix it with a full cup of coffee because I think it'll still be a strong enough flavor for a really good iced coffee, so that's what I'm gonna try. But just gonna tell you, a little pick-me-up, super good. Super good. Super good, you guys. These were amazing. So I think we got five each of those. Like, yes. And I'm today, I'm gonna make an iced coffee with one. And maybe it'll be on yesterday's video. <laughs> Okay, so let's go on. I walked in after I picked up my patriotic bag. I found this. Now I've seen like so many people haul these. They're they are really adorable. I'm not gonna lie to you. What a great beach bag. But you know me. I'm not gonna do that with it. I'm gonna do a DIY and I'm gonna tell you right now exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the faux leather, I'm gonna wrap the handle, I'm gonna weave some faux leather in here. I'm not sure which color. I have burgundy, I have like a silver white. I have a brown, I have a darker brown, and a black. I'm actually thinking about trying the burgundy in this or the silver white, so I'll try. So I don't know when I'm gonna do this DIY, but I'm gonna do it and then put plants in it. And I think it's gonna be an incredibly beautiful, high-end looking piece of home decor. So I know everybody sees it as a purse. I see it as a really cool planter. And what I love is that it's already all set up for me to weave. And the only thing you're gonna be able to weave through this is ribbon. You would have a really, you could maybe do jute twine, but it would be difficult. But can you just see if I did like two or three of these striped up with a really beautiful faux leather? Mm -hmm. And then bound the, the handle together like this with a beautiful leather and then just some amazing faux greenery in here. I'm telling you. And what I like about it is it's narrow. So it's a perfect piece to put on top of something you're not using up, which is, that's my idea. I have a place I want to put it on top of a, of a cabinet. Okay, so now let's go into like health and beauty stuff. I found the speed stick. I found the speed stick. This is the, um, well, I mean, I guess it's men's. This is sandalwood and this one is Surfside Rush. So sandalwood smash. Smell, I don't know, I haven't smelled it. Not a super strong scent. It's on my nose now, though. Uh, it smells good, though. It does smell good. It's not super, super strong. Um, and this one is Surfside Rush. Oh, I like this one a little bit better. Um, I have a guest bathroom, so whenever the grandkids come and whatnot, and also for my guy. Um, and so initially, I picked these up for my guy, and then the next store, or the one after that, I'm not sure, then I found something different. So, but I found the speed stick and I was happy about that. I've seen it hauled all over. I don't know how good it is, but it is, it's a brand name. You know, we love brand names. And then I found the lady speed stick. Mm. I also have not smelled these. So this is exotic blooms and rose delight. So rose delight. Oh, I really like rose. To, oh, it's definite stronger than these other two. Definite strong rose scent. If you like rose, you'll like that. And this one is the exotic blooms. Yeah, more of a, almost like a freesia maybe smell. Also smells good. I think I like the rose better. So um, I'm thinking these are really great buys. And again, I say this, it's like, it's a brand name. Now, can I get a thing of body wash this size at another store for a Yes, I can. Would it be speed stick? Probably not. But I could find suave for like 98 cents or something, you know. Um, but if you can find a brand name, why not? That's my thought. Okay, and then these are called Azorbine Plus. And I hauled the smaller patches, I think two weeks ago. Then I found these patches. So these are one large, it's five and a half by four inches. And you can see, so he's got a problem right now on his neck and his shoulder. Um, and so this is for him to try on that to hopefully relieve some of the pain. Uh, Cause he hasn't gone to the chiropractor. 
I don't know why, but he hasn't. I've never been to a chiro chiropractor, by the way. Never, ever been to one. So, but I did, I thought, okay, let's try those. Let's just, and he was with me. So he was like, yeah, yeah, let's try those. All right. So the, what I got 10 each of two items. So of my $59, 20 of that was 10 each of these two items. We are going to Disney World in August. And um, my daughter, you know, has been like, okay, mom. So listen, we should have this. We should have this. We should have this. So I'm putting together stuff for all of us to have at Disney World for, you know, all those things. Number one, it's August, so it's going to be super hot. So my guy sees these and he goes, hey, we should get those for everybody for Disney World. I'm like, oh my God, yes. So these are the chili minis. I've actually hauled this before for my kayaking for the kids. But these come in a little tube like this, all right? So that's in there. And we're thinking this is perfect. We can put it on a lanyard so they can, you know, put it on their belt buckle or around their neck or in their purse, whatever. Put everybody's will go on a lanyard. I'm going to double duty, triple duty this thing because for the younger kids, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but the, our two younger ones are the two youngest are nine years old. I'm still young. And so they will have inside of here will be all of their information and emergency numbers to call because even at nine years old, it can be very difficult, especially nowadays, we don't really memorize phone numbers like we used to, but I'll do it for everybody. So everybody in our party is gonna have their emergency info on here, because listen, if you're knocked unconscious or something, so it'll be all in here. So that's the second thing that these are gonna be used for. And then we purchased everybody rain ponchos. Now, now that we're expecting rain, but we'll be ready, and when you go on water rides, you can pull these out and put them on and save your clothing if you want. So we got all the different colors. There's two clear, there's two pink, there's two green. So the two green ones, and we're hoping we can roll these up, rubber band them, and fit them inside of this. And then we're buying lanyards for everybody, and their personal information will be in here. And maybe some emergency money. I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in here. Any ideas, people? What else can I fit into this thing? So... But uh, we color coordinated all the raincoats. So my guy and I are in lime green because, of course, that is is my favorite color. Um, for my, oops, I dropped one. For my 18-year-old grandson and his girlfriend, they're, they're coming. So they're going to get blue and pink. Then the two grandkids that, um, their brother and sister, they're getting blue and pink. Then my daughter and son-in-law are getting the clear ones. And then the other two little boys are getting blue. So... You can have fun with that. So, hey, guys, let me know what else you think could fit in here. So, that was this haul for that. My cat is at the screen. <laughs> that was the first store. Let's do the second store. Okay. So, the second store I went to, my receipt totaled, putting stuff down here, um, $30, $30. So, I had 30 items. Can you guys see that? Boom. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Just trust me, it's 30 items, so $30. Um, so it didn't do quite as well as I had done at the first store. I didn't find as much stuff, but I found something killer here. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. I found the table scatter for 4th of July, which for some reason I hadn't found. 4th of July, Patriotic, Memorial Day, whatever. The Patriotic stuff. I hadn't found the table scatter, and of course, I'm going to do Patriotic DIYs for yesterday's video. So, so there's those. And then I was walking through their little garden section and I saw this. So this is little garden center. It's super cute, little pale. And I have an idea and I'm not sure. I'm, I think it's going to work though. I would like to make this a cute little planter for inside the house. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to Mod Podge on. I have some beautiful napkins that have some beautiful florals. I'm going to Mod Podge the whole thing in florals and then take like some of my faux little plants and stick them in there without the burlap and it'll be a very cute little planter so i'm not sure when i'm going to do this diy i'm trying really hard to do my diys um pretty close to when i haul them for you guys so that you know so yeah i can't get the plant out of here now okay we'll deal with that later <laughs> Uh, so that you can, you know, you see it and then I, and then I do it. So I'm, I'm trying to get sort of caught up so that that will be kind of how it goes, except for very themed things like holidays and stuff where I'm going to haul it and then you're not going to see it until that holiday comes because that happens with some things. Okay. 
this cute little number um it's like an angel wings on a scrubby super cute for i think like a little girl um like a little girl's gift basket or or something um you know you can make a really cute gift with some bath bombs and some hold my cat mm. so it would make this would make a really cute thing for a gift bath for a little girl um it's just really different so i don't know i acquired this to throw into my gift like thing speaking of gift things so i want to show you this because i'm telling you guys all the time that if you keep your eye out and you shop dollar tree regularly you can come up with some amazing gifts now earlier this year and I do have gift bins. Like I have two in my garage that I put stuff in that I'm accumulating. Like I actually gave away all the Crayola stuff last weekend to a little girl's birthday party. I didn't make a video of it, sorry. But it was a super cute bag just full of Crayola stuff. Everything from the Dollar Tree. And so I saved up all that stuff and then, you know, and I gift it. Well, a couple months ago, this I didn't haul right now. I'm just going to show you this because I want you to see what I hauled. So a couple months ago, I hauled all the astrology books, the 2021 astrology and the candles, which these candles, you know, are just, it's a, a candle and it smells so good too, by the way. Okay. Did they, did they even tell us the scent? Uh, no, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So <clears throat> I hauled the books and I can't get the lid back on and the candles just this in itself is, is just a cute little gift to give somebody for their birthday. But look what I found. It says, my horoscope said this would happen. Is this not cute? Now, I'm going to take, I bought, I bought two of them. Take the little book and just tie a little ribbon around this. And you've got yourself a cute, or put it into a wine bag or something or a gift bag super cute little gift. My horoscope said this would happen. I've never seen these before. Just really, anyway. So I wanna show you that. So I did, I did, I snagged. I snagged two of these puppies right here to complete two gifts. Cause I've got the books and the candles. I probably should have picked up more, but we were driving and all that. And my guy was with me and you know, why are you getting so many? Uh. I don't know. Went down the doggy aisle. Now this is a really good like dog toy. Like this has an amazing amount of rope in it. And it's really, it's a good sturdy big knot. And just, I feel like this would be a great toy for a dog or, or Amy could really take it and undo it and make this great bohemian piece with this. Cause look at all that sparkly in that rope. Mm hmm. So I made the floral wreath thing I made, I did some weaving on it and I used um, mop heads, I think, didn't I? No, I used one of those little rug, little placemats, little rugs, and I took it all apart. And I looked at this and I was like, oh my gosh, I just, because it's got all that sparkle in it. So I will, I'll do another like boho bohemian thing where I, and I'm gonna use all of this. It would also make excellent hair for a hippie gnome. Please do. Like the big nose and just peace, peace fingers and this like, yeah, hippie hair. Okay, so I bought it. I'm telling you guys all the time, don't look at anything for exactly what it is, which takes me to the next item. This is an ice bucket, ice bucket. But here's what I love. This is clean lines. This is super clean lines. There's none of the, there's not the funky, cheesy, like when they make the plastic pieces like this and there's all this molding in it, it can look really cheesy and cheap. This is really clean lines, really from a distance on camera. You probably can't tell except that I'm not carrying it like it has any weight, but it can almost look glass. Now, initially, this is what I'm thinking I'm going to do with it. I picked it up now because I always say if you see it and you're going to want it, you better pick it up now. I'm going to put this in Christmas because what I see this is, is a really perfect bowl for putting beautiful ornaments in. And then I would enhance, like, like maybe wrap these with some um, beautiful faux leather or, and maybe put a tassel hanging off of, I don't know. Anyway, so initially I'm seeing it for Christmas and not just as an ice bucket. The other thing that would be really cool is to just paint the bottom of it with some black. It would make it look really chic to give it a black base. It'd also be very good for an indoor um, terrarium type setting, put some sand and some rocks and 
some of the faux um, uh, succulents in it. Not like the, like the, uh, not this, but the, um, <laughs> the cacti, the cacti that we all get at the Dollar Tree. So there's lots of good ideas. My idea is that this is a beautiful centerpiece bowl to put beautiful Christmas decorations in, handmade or whatever. Um, so if you see it, it's not just a nice bucket. Nothing is ever just what it says it is. In health and beauty. Oh, wait, I got one. I already did this. Yeah, I already did this. I've left health and beauty, and then I'm coming back to it. They had this. I'm not going to lie to you. At first, I thought it was speed stick, and I just grabbed it to throw into the guest bathroom, but it's fine because it's for the grandsons. It's a two-in-one shower gel and shampoo. Super convenient with the kids because it's just, you squirt it all over, wash yourself up, boom. And in a guest bathroom, this is super nice because I just have to put this out when they're coming. So it's just one bottle takes care of the boys and they shower a lot because of course they jump in the pool and then you gotta wash all that chlorine off and whatnot. So, okay. And also I'm gonna save, I have a couple of price things for you that I looked at prices that are phenomenal. I'm gonna save those till the last uh, because they're really, I, I'd love to show you guys when that happens. All right, um, this is, wait, in health and beauty, one more thing. This, which is, this is the Suave Rosemary and Mint Deodorant. And I'm going to be honest. They had a Suave that had more in it. It was 25% more. But I wanted the Rosemary and Mint. I just really wanted to smell it. <laughs> and I think this is a really chic looking anti... Why can't I get it out? Hold on, don't look. <laughs> okay. Oh. You can definitely smell it. I feel like I should be cooking in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. So yeah, you can smell the rosemary and smell the mint. I mean, it's almost a medicinal smell. But anyway, I wanted to try it for that. But they do have great buys on deodorant at the Dollar Tree because you can get, they had Lady Speed Stick, you can get Suave, you can get all kinds of them. Um, and I usually buy it there. So I, I, this one, just because it was this different scent and I wanted to try it. And I do really like the coloring on this. I think it's very chic looking. Okay, into crafts. Um, I think I've hauled these before. I'm not sure, but it's cacti. So I had to again. Um, so I did. That's it. That's all I can say about that. That's it. That's all there is. Okay. In the book section. Now, when we drive and we drove to Vegas, so it's like a five hour drive for us. And so we listen to books on tape. Well, books on CD now, I guess it's not on tape anymore. Um, because you drive through areas where you have absolutely no reception and it's a great way to take a long drive and we get to share this experience of basically reading a book together um we really like to do that it's kind of a lot of fun a suggestion for all of you well audible you can do audible where you can download books um but if you can find them for a dollar might as well do that this was 25 dollars regularly it's called stranger than fan fiction um it's by a new york times best-selling author and it doesn't matter, like, the story's always good if somebody else is reading it. <laughs> I don't know, for a dollar. A dollar, people, a dollar. So I'm like, absolutely. So, of course, this was a no-brainer to throw in the cart. All right, and then we're leaving, literally leaving the store. And I'm walking, like, the end cap. And this was kind of a, it was kind of a naughty, nasty store. Um, a lot of empty shelves, like a lot of stuff. But, you know, sometimes those are where you find the most amazing things. So I'm just walking. I'm like, wow, this is sort of depressing. I literally have like five items in my cart. He's thinking, yeah. <laughs> I'm going like, no. So I turn the corner, heading to the cash register, look at the end cap. And this is what I see. I was like, no way. No way. Lighthouse. Coastal, of course that's going to that. Anchor, Coastal, of course it's going to that. Pirate ship, wedding. <laughs> I was like, yes. I'm not even gonna do anything to these as I spit. I might put like, I'll, I have, I have pirate stickers and I thought how cute would it be just to put like a pirate sticker up here, the skull and crossbones. Centerpieces, can we say centerpieces? Like, cause we're just like doing we're feeding everybody and it's in our backyard and there's going to be a lot of cocktails and a lot of cocktail tables and stuff like that. And I'm like, of course, forget. I mean, these were amazing. I love this one, by the way. But I was like, wait, what? We bought all of them. 
which to be honest, they only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they had eight, but still, I should go online, actually. I'm like, how is stinking cute? If they had had a hundred of them, I would have bought them all and I would have made them be the giveaways for everybody at the wedding. Right now, everybody gets a little miniature bottle of rum, but wouldn't it be so stinking cute just to put a little bottle of rum in these and that be the giveaway? I, sh I literally need to go online and see if they have these there. So anyway, I was like so excited, so excited. And then of course I did pick these up for nautical DIYs. And then these, I will also use at the wedding. I can throw these out there like on the food tables of decoration. I don't really think these, pirates and lighthouses, anchors maybe. Um, so yeah, coastal, no, yeah, coastal. What is it? What are we calling that DIY? Did I call it nautical, nautical, nautical wedding. <laughs> mm, I was so happy. Okay. So now I'm going to show you a couple of things that were, I did tell you this was $25 originally, right? And I got it for a dollar. Yes, I did. Okay. I want to show you a few things that I have pictures of the pricing. Cause I really think, um, you know, I need to show you these things when we find these incredible buys. All right, so the first one is, I'm check, checking out the cash register and I see beyond me these, which I've seen other people haul. And I was like, oh my gosh, there they are. The Energizer Max Bunny. There's only two in here, so it's a dollar for two. But what I wanna show you is this. First of all, there's two different, I mean, I've got the thing up. So the first one is 16.24 for 24 pack. 24 pack, 24 divided by two is 12. So if I get two for a dollar, I'm gonna get 24 for $12, which is less than the Walmart price. Then drop right below that, uh, turn, and this one is a 7.47 for eight. Is that right? Yeah, eight pack. So that one is, that's actually, why would there, why would they have an eight pack for a better price than the 24 pack? So it doesn't make any sense. No, 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 I'm wrong. Shoo, Amy, wake up. Eight dollars for an eight pack. So for me to get eight of them at the Dollar Tree, it would have cost me four dollars. They have the price each year. So on the top one, it's 68 cents, 68 cents, and on the next one, it's 93 cents each. Can you see that in the little small print there? So, two for a dollar, great buy, great buy. I picked out, I snagged, I grabbed. I threw four packages in my cart. I threw it in my cart. That might be it, you guys. I might've actually just snagged it, what I'm gonna say. I threw it in my cart, so I threw that in my cart. I like it, do you guys like that? So I threw that in my cart. Okay, so we we're going down the health and beauty aisle and I saw this little three ounce Ole, Ole. Um, and it's, oh, it smells so good. I'm so mad at myself I didn't get more. Strawberry, white strawberry and mint. What's the difference between a white strawberry and, is there such a thing as white strawberries? Never heard of it. Anyway, it smells divine and I love Ole. Ole, I can't stop myself, I have to keep doing it. So this is a three ounce for a dollar. So if I wanted to get 30 ounces of it, I would spend $10 and get 10 bottles. And how much easier is this size to pick up than say a 30 ounce bottle? Comes with a pump though. Okay, but still, this is a this is dollar for three ounces. For 30 ounces, which would cost me $10 at the Dollar Tree, at Walmart, it is 11. 48. Can you guys see that? It's exactly the same. See the packaging? We, it's exactly the same, different ounceage. That's it. No brainer, right? No brainer. And what a beautiful little thing to add into a gift basket. You know, like I always say, you guys challenge me. If I walked into this store, I would have done, I could have done the sweetest little gift basket for, um, for a female, like thrown this in there, super high end, and a couple other things into like a nice little, um, a little makeup bag or something like that. A pretty little makeup bag. There's so many ways you can get just sweet little gifts there, and this is a perfect example of that. Prime example. Okay, so the other thing was I'm walking down and I see this Dead Sea Origins wet cleansing towelettes infused with dead sea salts and minerals. So there are 60 in here. This is for normal to oily skin. And I'm like, that is such high-end packaging. 
I've got, I've got to see what this is. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed one and then I looked it up. This is not exactly the same packaging and maybe that's why, but it, it is, this is Dead Sea Origins. This one is Dead Sea Elements. I don't know. Anyway, it's 1223. This is just a different, I think the packaging, what they've done is they've packaged their Dead Sea Origins, and now I think they call it Dead Sea Elements, I think is what it is. But a dollar for 60 of these high-end wipes. Yeah, can't beat it. I mean, that was amazing. All right, so that was the haul from that store. Now we're gonna go to the very large store and the stuff, amazing stuff I got there. All right, so I'm sitting here editing and it's too long, the video's too long. So I'm gonna split it into two. So you're, this is part one, this is the end of part one. Part two will be the third store in Vegas and I will probably put that up on Sunday. Um, Cause yeah, cause I have videos on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So putting two out in one day is kind of dumb. So I'll put part two up on Sunday. So if you want to see what I do, the rest of the stuff I got. And it was the biggest dollar tree that I went to in Vegas. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this. I hope you liked it. Have a great day, great week, great life. And as always, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. That's, oh look, see that behind me? See, I hung that up. Mm, doesn't it look good there? It's with my cow. My cow thinks there's all the stuff from the haul. It was a huge haul. That's my craft little cart right there. Mm -hmm. There you guys are seeing a little bit more of the house. Mm, okay. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for themed Thursday. Yay. Bye.